In this video, I will be performing a normal modes analysis on this mass and spring system. Full details of this exercise are on page 390 of the PDF linked in the video description below. The first thing I'll go ahead and do is switch over to a new session of Patran. I'll start, or I'll save my file to this directory and call it problem 14. Click OK here. And I'll define my uh, spring and mass system by first defining my nodes. So here under the meshing tab, click node edit, and this will allow me to create my nodes. I'll create six nodes spaced one inch apart. The units for this exercise are in inches, pounds, and for mass, I have pounds second squared per inch. So my first node will be located at the origin, my next one will be located at 1 in the x, next one will be located at 2 in the x, 3 in the x, 4 in the x, 5 in the x, and one last one at 6 in, in the x. To show your nodes, you can go to the home tab and turn on your node size. Or what you can also do is turn on your label control for the nodes. You see we have seven here. And I've unfortunately made an additional node, so what I can go ahead and do is delete this node, node seven, and hit apply. Click refresh graph or reset graphics. You'll notice it's not here anymore. After you've created your six nodes, it's time to make your elements. So here under Element Edit, we want to make a bar element from node to node. So from one to two and so on. If I were to have Auto Execute Off, when I first select node one, or node one here, in this case I've chosen node five here. And after I select node six, where every other time it's automatically created the element, this time it didn't because the auto execute is checked off. I can hit apply and they'll create the element. Now let me go ahead and create a separate group for my masses. And this will be current. So then anything else I do after this, it will be added to the group I just created. So here, click Edit again. In the same form, you'll select the option to make point elements. And then you simply select the nodes in which you want the, the point element to be, a, to be defined. I'll turn on Auto Execute, so then we'll have a point mass here, here, or a point element. So we'll have point elements from 2 to 5, or nodes 2 to 5. You can show your groups by going to the Home tab, going to the Model Tree, and turning them off and on. Let me turn off the Label Control and the Node Size. And here you'll notice that point elements are indicated with the triangle. You can turn those off and on using this .0D element marker. And in this event, they're not working. Now I can go ahead and move on to my boundary conditions. So here under this tab, I'll define the displacement constraint. And here I'll call this one fixed. And this one is fixed, so translations in all three directions are fixed and rotations about every axis are fixed. Click OK for your application region. We're directly working with the mesh, so select FEM. Here you have the option of selecting the nodes. After you select one node, hold the shift key and hold the next node, add it, OK, and now you've defined this boundary condition. Now going on to defining your materials and so on. In this tab, select isotropic, or not isotropic. We're actually defining uh, properties for the spring. So here under 1D properties, click spring. Call this spring stiffness. Under input properties, 
we'll give this spring a value of 100 pounds per inch and we'll set the degree of freedom at node 1 and 2 as a max. Click OK for your application region. Simply click beam elements, drag your cursor, and select elements 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Add it, OK, and apply. Now we'll go ahead and hide that. I'll go back to my home tab and click this icon to turn them on. Now we have to define mass properties for these elements. So here, let me close this group tab. Let me go back to the properties tab and select under 0D properties, the mass. Call this mass. Select option to lumped. For input properties, give this a mass of 2 pounds second squared per inch. Click OK for application region. Simply click point element here and drag and select. Add, OK, and apply. Now, to run this job, go to your Analysis tab, click Entire Model. Under Solution Type, select Normal Modes, click OK, and hit Apply. After the analysis is complete, make sure to turn on your default group. Let me hide the, the masses for now. Let me minimize this and reset the graphics. And let me import the XDB results. Close this group tab. Hit apply to import the results. Here in the results tab, we'll show vectors. We'll use the vector option to show the eigenvectors here. So my first frequency is 0.7 Hz, 1.3, 1.8, and 2.14. And you'll see this aligns with uh, what we're expected to get here. 0 0.7, 1.32, 1 1.8, 2.14, and so on. So here I've selected a uh, vector, selected my first mode, I'll select eigenvectors, translational, and I'll show as component. I'll uncheck Y, Y, and Z, Z, so I'll only have X, X checked. And when I do this and hit apply, you'll see vectors where the point masses would be. So we can view this for, let me go back to the results tab, we can view this for the second mode. the third mode, and finally the last mode. Make sure to save, and this concludes this example.